What's going on, YouTube? Rukari back with more amnesia. Gotta take a quick, quick, blicky look around. Get everything here. We've got no. Oh! 15th of August, 1839. That note hurt! The blood wards are failing. The shadow beckons, and its cry disarms my actions. Hurry. No time to spare. You have to kill another. Alexander produces oh a dear. Knife. He wants me to cut the flesh. Do it. Save yourself. He is a murderer, Daniel. He is evil. A Do I have to? Killer. Hurry. What if I don't? I don't even know if this man really is a cold-blooded killer. You're not gonna give me a choice. Alexander, you must let me be. I have to concentrate. I don't want to. The man, cut the lines, cut the flesh, watch the blood spill, let it come. I... I don't want to do this. I don't want to do this, but I have to do it. I didn't do anything. What the fuck is wrong with you? Cut the lines. Paint the man. Cut the lines. You're insane. Please, the man cries. Ah, ah. Now you sleep. I did well. One life for another. Great. You hear me, guardian of the orb? I did all this for you. Now, once more, withdraw your shadow from my domain. Did it work? I can't access my menu or anything. Alexander, there isn't much time. I can feel it. We must act swiftly. I will do whatever it takes. Oh, I've got zero sanity left. What the fuck was that? an actual note there I guess this is the note the blood wards are failing the shadow beckons and its cry disarms my actions great this is this is horrible we were horrible Now I just have to wait for this man to be able to see straight for more than five seconds before I can continue on. Because the second I walk into, you know, the dark, he's gonna lose his shit. Can you just get to like norm, like mild levels of sanity? I didn't want to start the episode like this. I was hoping for like real identifiable progress. Screw you, Daniel. That's just a dude hanging from his ankles. Oh, that's a painted dude hanging from his ankles. These are the bodies of the people you made suffer. And there are bugs crawling over my face. That's the knave. I'm going the wrong way. I'm sorry. Will you go away if I hold my torch up? No. We're just too crazy for that. Okay. Fine. Crawl over my face, bugs. We freakier in VR. This I can tell at least is a computer screen. Okay, choir main hall. Great, perfect, let's go. It had gone too far. The man was suffocating as he could no longer breathe properly between the lashes. Displeased, he started to look for the Damascus rose oil. What is that supposed to do? You just take a sip to feel better? Oh! Um. 
What are my intentions, Daniel? Salvation. It used to be yours, but now you yeah. only seek misplaced revenge. How do you justify your violence? Is it for the greater good? Are you doing the world a service? All I'm doing is stopping it you! It is you who caused all this pain and death. If you had accepted your fate and submitted to the orb when you first discovered it, none of this would have happened. Well, screw you too! It's curiosity in league with your selfishness that is killing us both. Great, um... Oh good, I've got a little bit of my sanity back, that's nice. Oh, this is impossible to navigate. Where the hell am I? That's just a pit. I can't. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. Shit. I can't see it. Oh dear god, I can't see it! Where is it? Oh, this was a massive mistake. Oh good. Some light shit before I die. Oh my god, I am so fucked. I am like hiding behind some small rocks, fucked. Okay. Just, just stay close to the wall. You'll be okay. Right hand rule. I think this technically counts as lit. So my sanity isn't draining that fast. Am I probably screwed? Yeah, probably. Hold on one second. Just had to make sure the gamma was looking okay for the recording, you know. Gotta make sure you guys can see too. Please stop shaking. Everything needs to stop shaking. I don't know where I am. I don't know where I'm going. Haven't seen a door. Got a lot of pillars. A lot of red. Just gotta keep inching along and hiding. Inching and hiding seems to be like a safe decision for me right now. Especially given that I still can't see anything or anybody. If we sing along, then maybe we won't be so scared. Oh, there's a door. A door is promising. I like doors. Okay. No growling, no horrible music. Okay. Great. Memory, fine, but not the death. The wheel is good for keeping your victim still during the procedure. They can be bound around the circumference or simply stretched across, tying limbs to the spokes and rim. 
You're horrible. All tools are by this point useful, and you may administer the torture in any way you like. But the forte of the wheel is the gaps. Great. When you have decided that the victim shall die, you can smash their limbs with a hammer, making them fold in between the frame. Oh, this is horrible. But they'll die. Too quickly, I mean. No, don't worry. The human body is much more resilient. They can survive for days until they finally succumb. This is horrifying. Okay. Just gonna creep into here. Sanity still not doing so hot. Hate the wheel. Okay. Let's give Daniel a couple of minutes to recover his sanity because, you know, he's he's having a real bad time. And I think it's only fair that we give him a break, so I'm just going to come back once he's back to, you know, baseline insanity instead of extreme insanity. And y'all, yeah, we'll go have a cup of tea. Maybe a bite of lunch because I'm bad at eating meals anyways. And then we'll see how he's doing once he's recovered. Sounds good? Okay. Mm -hmm. Sounds good to me. You don't have a choice in this. It's gonna cut here now, okay? Okay, so I've been standing here for ages and Daniel's sanity is not improving, so... I'm getting to think we're kind of just a little bit screwed. So we've got a torture device. Gotta have- oh great, I gotta remember it. The murderer's limbs were tied to the spokes of the wheel. They turned the wheel slowly, but with intent, so the rope secured around his legs stretched and cracked the bone. He no longer had the strength to scream. The two men looked at each other knowingly and took a hammer and struck the victim victim's chest in a final act of mercy. Okay, great. And yep, that ominous glow is the orb. Lovely. Anything else? Any laudum? Any whatever it is I'm gonna need? Are you sure you can't recover just a little bit more sanity, Daniel? Okay. <sighs> We've got a piece of orb. That's something. I still can't see. anything Okay Oh no What was that? Oh no, hide, hide. No, not that. Oh no. That's the sound of a bad guy. Where? Oh, just hide. Where, where, where? Calm down, please, music. Okay, just don't move. Okay, move a tiny bit. You're fine, you're fine. If he can't see you, you're fine. If he doesn't see you, you're fine! Oh, this is the worst part of this game. Is it safe? I think it's safe. Okay, I'm just gonna... Pick that up. Are we meant to be able to, like, cross over there? That would be kind of cool. I don't see a good way of- oh, high bones. I don't really see a good way of getting up on to it. 
like without falling into the abyss, but I kind of want to like explore it. Okay. Regardless, I think we're okay. Still pretty insane. But help her. Find a way. Okay. Stop thinking so loudly. Alrighty. Just gonna keep Oh no. Where? Okay. I don't see it. I don't see it. Gonna just quietly sneak. Oh, the music is so loud. Okay. This is a far corner from where I heard the noise. Maybe that means it's safe? Especially if I hide behind this pillar? Ooh, this is even better. Oh yeah, that's a ticket. You ain't gonna see nothing. Okay. Yeah, if I never have to see any of you, mission accomplished. I'm doing things right. Right? I don't... Don't care if it's uneventful gameplay, I just want to survive! And just like that, you're gone again. And I'm okay. And we're okay. Everything's okay. I still hate this game, but we're fine. Okay. Oh good, more of these things. Another broken off section. Not what I was hoping for, but okay. Any goodies? Any fungi? Don't really actually even know what the fungi is that I'm looking for, or how to extract it for that matter. Okay. She can keep going. Hugging the walls. Hoping nothing is in that, like, kind of main body. Oh, wait! I don't know about you, but to me that looks like fungi! How do I... Uh, can I... Oh, that worked! And my sanity improved. Hot dog. Two for one special. Oh, stop hitting yourself in the face with the door. Okay. As per usual. Close the door. And this is certainly proof that they were Greco-Roman because that is the Iron Bowl. One of my most horrifying tortures. <laughs> the traitor did not know what to think of the brass bull as he was forced to enter it. Only when the heat of fire began to scorch his skin and cook his flesh did he realize it was to be his tomb. His screams of pain echoed inside the brass chamber and traveled through the complex instrument which was the bull's head. Outside, the men could hear the brazen bull bellow. So, not so fun fact about um, death by burn. Um, it's not the burning that kills you. It's actually generally smoke inhalation in case of fire that kills you. There was something about the Karnak, wasn't there? No, that's the wrong one. Hold on. One second, gonna get distracted really quick. This thingy about fire. The Tamter... Okay, property of secretion of the water drilling Karnak. Capture just wire with this as he will have to supply me with a host and a properly prepared well should suffice to contain it. Okay, so I've got the poisonous fungi. Need to get the Vita from human blood. And the Karnak, we still don't know. I was slightly hoping that there may have been a way there's like water here, so you know, maybe that's related. Anyway, so yeah, no, it's the um it's the smoke inhalation that kills you 
not the fire. No, don't kill her. Yeah, no, I don't really want to kill anyone anymore. Hello? Hi. Any monsters out there waiting to eat me? I'm listening for you. I should probably crouch. Quieter if I crouch, right? I gotta be sneaky! Especially with ominous music like that. appeared here, which, you know what, I'm okay with that. We're, we're still sneaking along, we're doing well. I mean, it's almost kind of a benefit that the lighting is so weird and sparse because it means that it's, it's hard for the things that want to eat me to see me. And in the end, really, that's all we want for everyone is to just, nobody sees nobody. Right? I feel like I'm getting back around near the start, though. Oh, nope. Okay, this is new. Was that a monster? I don't like that noise, whatever it is. There's that they like weird low moaning kind of noise. Also, just in general, walking along this is pretty exposed. And I like to have things to hide behind. Which I don't have here. So if I could just have a hidey hole, that'd be lovely. Okay. Just gonna very carefully and quietly. Oh, that was a monster noise. Okay, wait, hold on. I think... I don't know where it is. I don't know where it is. But I'm kind of close to that door that led in here. So I think I just need to make it there. And then we can be safe and we can return and we'll continue on with our journey. But we gotta be real, real quiet and sneaky about it. Because I still can't see! It's probably right the fuck behind me. Okay, doorway good, doorway good. Just gonna look real quick. Don't see anything approaching. There are small children screaming outside and it is the worst goddamn sound possible for this particular incident. Oh, that's okay, we've actually accidentally found what I think is the last torture chamber. I literally love it if you could stop screaming outside, children. You're not helping my poor sanity. Or Daniel's for that matter. Okay, got some laudanum. Lovely laudanum. Oh, that's gonna be like an Iron Maiden, isn't it? Okay, just gonna check all the corners, get all the stuff. Really could use some lantern oil. Just keep finding tinder boxes. This is what I get for using the lantern too much. I've only got two freaking lantern oil that I know I'm gonna need more. Okay. Oh shit! That was not nice! That was very much not nice! Forager stood absolutely still. The casket had been closed, but a faint light made its way inside. A myriad of spikes pointed at him, glittering as they waited for his body to slip just for a moment. His knee jerked, and he felt blood trickle down his leg. In pain, his head fell slightly forward. It took him a while to realize his eye had ruptured and begun to leak. Lovely. Hate it. That's a cage with spikes on it. That's someone's femur or humorous or something. I think he just wanted to make sure that there were no goodies back here. You know, 
actual goodies. I'm losing my mind. Okay. Great, I got some sanity back. Crystal clear, that's not gonna last. Still hear that bell tolling, don't you? But it's fine. Okay, we got the fungus. We got the orbs. What we need to do now is make it back out without getting attacked by a monster and we'll be fine. And, and I feel like this place was pretty well set up that I can get back using my trusted right hand rule I think if I remember correctly the doorway should just be right over here right nope nope I'm lost got tinderbox though okay it's fine I just have to keep circling because if I continuously walk around the perimeter of the room eventually I will have to have gone around the entire perimeter Definitely safe. Definitely the best plan you could have possibly here. Still not turning on the light. Don't trust light. Door, door, choir entrance. We made it! Something died of him. Yeah, yeah, we know about that. Your mind is broken just like all of the people you murdered. But it's fine. You know, because we persevered, we made it out, everything is fine. Didn't mean to jump. She's gonna head back. Hopefully nothing appears in here. Hopefully Alexander isn't gonna yell at us again. We're just gonna go back. And then in the next episode, we'll tackle the second door. Right? That's that's the goal. We're gonna go tackle the second door in the next episode. There's only so much that I can take, and also I need to. Okay, my sanity is still good, which is great. Need to keep that as high as humanly possible, because it's not gonna last. It really isn't. I'm amazed I made it out there without actually seeing any one of the monsters. Alrighty, what's up, my dude? I'm just gonna check in and say hi to my friend Agrippa. Looks like you cleaned out the choir. Head for the transom and find the rest of the old pieces. Yep, sure, you got it, bud. Will do. Made a note of that. But we're going to do that in the next episode. Thank you guys so much for watching me struggle. Will you shut up, Agrippa? I'm talking. The next episode, we're going to go ahead and deal with the transept. I'm just going to make sure really quick that there's nothing important we need to find out. Oh, I bet you anything that this is where our friend the Karnak is. Oh, do we have time? Okay. I must have to attach something to that in order... Oh, wait, wait, you know what? I bet I know. I bet I know. Okay, don't fall in the well. But, what if we hang some meat from it? I was gonna end the episode, but I'm gonna get this first. Great. Great. We want to pull back on it. Come on. Reel this sucker in. Do we get what we need? Probably closer to reach from this side. I got remains! Okay, great. The remains are covered in mucus. That's exactly what we needed from that ugly mug. Okay. Great. Two for three? I think that is actually the best place to call it. Because we, you know, we're doing so well. We're making so much progress. And in the next episode, we are going to tackle the transept. You can shut up, Karnak. Okay, I beat you this time. 
thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're enjoying this this video, this series, whatever this word is, whatever we're calling this. You know what? I think we're close. I don't actually know that for sure, but I feel like we're close. And I'm gonna, we're almost at the end. We are almost at the end of this series. I hope you guys enjoy this. I'm so looking forward to finishing this because I don't want to play this game anymore. That's all I got to say. I'm just gonna stop talking now. Okay, goodbye!